Hello, welcome on another video on Back Bounty Reports Explained channel. This time it's a new series called Bounty Vlog. What is it about? Well, something I don't like about social media is that it can make all of us feel worthless. Chances are that if you open Twitter feed right now, you will see tweets like I earned X amount of dollars today or I reported free criticals in two hours or something like that. I do this sometimes myself, but I generally don't like it and I know it doesn't help anyone. On the other hand, I see people like Shops who show us all their journey and I hugely, hugely respect that. And I would like to do something similar or maybe even better, because I would like to show you my journey from the beginning, from right now. How much time I spent, how many vulnerabilities I find, how different methodologies and programs work for me. I think this will be especially valuable a few years from now after I gain a lot of experience and I become successful. Today is the zeroth episode where I will show you what's my background, what's my IT security journey so far and how I was able to leave my pen testing job with such a small YouTube channel. Enjoy! I started my IT security journey quite late, just before going to university. First, I found out about CTFs and they were absolutely awesome for me. Then I found out there is a profession called pen tester and back then I thought it's just like CTFs, except you are getting paid for it. But back then I didn't know how hard it is to get to the field. I thought that I would need a few years of university, then a few years of programming experience and only then I could aspire to be a pen tester. But I was wrong. After a year of university, along with learning security in my free time, I got a job as a pen tester on my second year. It was a dream, but I never felt that I'm good enough to stop learning. I'm generally a learning junkie. I want to optimize and learn everything from IT security tools through time organization to even such simple things like peeling an orange. I just want to do it as best as I can. And Bug Bounty seems like a perfect fit for me, because here, unless you are doing a lot of recon, you won't find a simple XSS in the commonly used parameter. There are a lot of good write-ups and I learn a ton reading them. And that's how Bug Bounty Report Explained channel was born. Originally, I just did it to document my learning journey and have a personal brand to maybe start doing it more seriously a few years from now after I'm bored doing pen tests. But fast forward one and a half year and I'm kinda doing it full time now. I didn't want to continue doing both those things simultaneously because they just take too much time. Instead, I decided that I am in a position to quit my job even though I was making pretty much no money from YouTube. It was just more interesting to me and I didn't have a specific plan. I just wanted to see what happens when I invest more time into this and into Bug Bounty. Do I make more money now than I did as a pen tester? Definitely not. But when quitting my job, I had about a year worth of savings on my account and right now I'm in a very comfortable position where I don't need to make money because I live off of my savings. Everything I make through bounties, BBRE premium or sponsorship deals is a kind of bonus to me. Right now I focus on learning and growing and I hope that money will follow. And actually it seems like they do because it's been four months and instead of burning my savings, I'm actually month to month extending them. Apart from my bounties, I'd like to thank BBRE Premium subscribers and companies like Detectify who sponsor the content on this channel. It's also awesome to be my own boss and I have much more free time now. Even if in some time I decide that I want to go back to just being employed and getting stable salary month to month, I will be happy to have taken this risk and experience what I'm experiencing right now. The reason I created the channel and the newsletter is the lack of good quality content that is not for beginners. Even though some marketing gurus think I'm making a mistake because beginners are always the biggest audience. And I agree that with doing a web security course for beginners, I may have better financial results. What I'm doing right now is just much more interesting to me. And this is the most important thing. The same goes for BBRE Premium. 
You can learn web security with me there if you are not interested in totally beginner content. Every two weeks I send an email with tons of hacking tips and tool tutorials. I also don't have a Patreon or buy me a coffee, so that's the only way to support me right now. I am not that good at marketing, so there aren't hundreds of people there, but the most important thing is that those that are there are very happy with it. Where is Bug Bounty in all that, you may ask? Since day one I learned about them, it was very appealing to me. Working from any location in the world, being able to self-manage my time, and finally being awarded based on the performance and not on time put is something that I want to do. Especially that I strongly believe that if I put the time into this, I will succeed. But I made a lot of mistakes. At the beginning, I just didn't have the web security skills that are necessary. Then I was approaching bug bounties like a pen test because I was a pen tester and I thought bug bounty is easy, but it wasn't. With full time studies and part time work, I also didn't have much time to do that, and since I created the channel, it got even worse, and I didn't even want to spend my remaining time on bug bounty. So even though I consider myself a great pen tester and I have strong web security skills, in bug bounty I'm just a beginner just like many of you. Now I want to spend roughly 50% of my time on content creation and the other 50% on bug bounty. Although so far I am not very good at maintaining this balance, but anyway I am finding some bugs which is absolutely amazing feeling. And in this series I will show you my journey with exact numbers, time spent and so on. Since my podcast with David Schutz, I am focusing on a public bug bounty program on HackerOne without any recon, just focusing on understanding the application. You can expect the next episode in about a month where I will show you what were my results after 100 hours spent on that program. Right now I'm about at 60 hours and I won't tell you what, how exactly is it going, but I will just tease that I found a first bug after only 2 hours of hunting. Make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss that episode. And if you are a company that could benefit from advertising to IT security audience of about 15,000 unique visitors per month, feel free to contact me at collab at bugboutingexplained.com. For now, thank you for watching and goodbye.